Thank you, Madam uh, Finance Minister, for giving an elaborate answer in the answer sheet. Uh, Madam Minister has also made a statement that uh, she will be chairing meetings under uh, G20 Presidency to explore crypto regulations. China is tracking down crypto miners. India can be an alternate destination if regulatory certainty and infrastructure are provided. I'd like to ask Madam Minister through you, sir, how does the government plan to regulate crypto mining in India to cater to environmental and energy consumption concerns? Whether it's mining or whether it's the asset, whether it is the transaction, we recognize that this is very completely almost driven by technology and a standalone country's effort in controlling or regulating this is not going to be effective. How does the union government plan to safeguard an individual's autonomy from excessive control that could be leveraged by the states? The retail or the wholesale use of digital currencies will have any spillovers for which any action has to be planned. Thank you, Madam uh, Finance Minister, for giving an elaborate answer in the answer sheet. But, um, uh, Honorable Speaker, sir, I would like to ask through you, Madam Minister, regarding crypto mining. Uh, Madam Minister has also made a statement that um, she will be chairing meetings under uh, G20 Presidency to explore crypto regulations. So, this, uh, crypto mining is the booming thing now, the in thing in India, and a lot of Indians are taking keen interest in that with an ecosystem favorable for them also. And since China is tracking down crypto miners, India can be an alternate destination if regulatory certainty and infrastructure are provided. I would like to ask Madam Minister through you, sir, how does the government plan to regulate crypto mining in India to cater to environmental and energy consumption concerns? Thank you. Sir, as I explained in the answer given, at the moment, they are largely unregulated in India. Whether it's mining or whether it's the asset, whether it is the transaction, we recognize that this is very completely almost driven by technology and a standalone country's effort in controlling or regulating this is not going to be effective. And there is now an evolving consensus. And that is why in the G20, we are raising this issue and having detailed discussion with the members so that a standard operating protocol emerges after the discussions in the G20 so that there is a coherent, comprehensive, all countries working together kind of a approach in bringing some regulation uh, into this, whether it is uh, mining, whether it is transacting, and therefore, all this is being looked at comprehensively because technologies don't brook any broader borders. They can get activated in one area where you're, control, um, where you're not controlling as opposed to the area where you're controlling. So we are working together to get a collective SOP on it. Sir, so, so supplement to one more. Um, the central bank digital currencies, CBDCs, introduce the concept of programmable money. So the concept of programmable money brought forth by this could potentially impinge on individual autonomy, sir, shifting agency from individuals to an all-controlling state. So I'd like to ask uh, the finance minister through you, sir, how does the union government plan to safeguard an individual's autonomy from excessive control that could be leveraged by the state? The Honorable Member said currency is something, the digital currency is something which the central banks issue. As you are aware, sir, and the August House is aware, India's Reserve Bank has come up with a pilot in terms of retail and wholesale use of digital currency, for which there are several sandbox created so that user cases can be tested. And it is only during this process and immediately after that, can there be any kind of understanding on how the retail or the wholesale use of digital currencies will have any spillovers 
for which any action has to be planned. So that has been just introduced since last December. We'll wait for the outcomes from there.